And we start tonight with some breaking news right here. Our investigative team today has learned new details as to why the athletic director and principal of Chatfield High School have been placed on administrative leave. Parents in the Jefferson County School District believe it was a hazing incident between students that led to a criminal charge against the athletic director at Chatfield on the right side of the screen. The Chatfield principal there you see on the left also not working right now. Our CBS4 investigators have been working this story hard. Brian Moss is here. What else have you learned? Well, as we mentioned, first of all, both the principal at the school and the athletic director have been put on administrative leave for now. The athletic director and the principal both put on leave recently. The athletic director, Craig Auckland, has been charged with failing to report child abuse or neglect in connection with the alleged incidents. He's what's known as a mandatory reporter and is legally obligated to report suspected abuse. We learned today the alleged incident happened at Chatfield High School July 26. School district now saying Auckland had a direct relation to one of the accused students. The district also told us the situation centers on an event for a private baseball team of students who had recently completed middle school. While some parents believe an alleged hazing incident is at the core of all this, the district says it is under investigation. And we did reach Craig Auckland yesterday. He said what occurred, quote, had nothing to do with the school, but he declined to provide any other specifics. Chatfield's football coach, Brett McGlatlin, told us the alleged incident had nothing to do with the football team, in his words. It did not happen within our football program. It is not a football thing, said McGlatlin. Our investigation found that Auckland was involved in several alcohol-related incidents before he went to work for the Jeffco School District in 2006. The district is now saying, within the last hour, that it did not know about those incidents and they would have disqualified Auckland from employment. He's due in court October 29th on this misdemeanor charge right. of failing to report, and we'll certainly be following this story as it goes along. All right. Thank you, Brian. Yeah.